Amid global warming, companies around the world are thinking of ways to develop clean energy technologies such as electric vehicles and sustainable fuels. An international green energy company from Germany is in Taiwan to introduce the benefits of green hydrogen, a type of hydrogen fuel that's produced during renewable using renewable electricity. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang spoke to the CEO to learn more about this fuel of the future. Clean energy technologies such as electric vehicles and hydrogen sustainable fuels are some of the hottest topics today as companies find ways to decarbonize the transportation industry. For years, hydrogen has served as a clean alternative to fossil fuels. Electrolyzers, which use electricity to extract hydrogen from water, have provided a carbon-free energy carrier to run cars and generators and to provide power to buildings. But implementation has been slow. Green hydrogen is needed for um, um, to reduce um, CO2 footprint. So if we really want to uh, battle against um, um, global warming, then we need a fossil free vault. And this can be done only with hydrogen. Most of the systems which are cheap today coming from China, and they are alkaline systems, means uh, highly complicated systems which are built by engineers and also maintained by engineers. So when we apply um, technology advantage, so what we have learned from ship industry, so we understand that mass fabrication and scaling is important. And here we need other technologies. And IM is the only technology which can be um, applied for this kind of use case. Green hydrogen adoption has been limited by high costs and often requires huge engineering efforts, time and people. An international green hydrogen technology company launched in Germany hopes to solve this problem by developing an electrolyzer with patented anion exchange membranes, or AEM, which are cheaper compared to membranes traditionally used to create green hydrogen. The electrolyzer can be applied in smaller sites, such as in households, as well as large industrial parks. This is a new breakthrough in hydrogen production. I am a specific um relatively easy to build. Um, we don't need um, high purity water. And the system itself does not need titanium or iridium, which are the most cost driver for PEM. And as um, the systems can be built um, relatively small, we, it allows mass fabrication. And with mass fabrication, it goes down in price. And uh, we can beat the lowest cost price systems from China, actually. The team believes that hydrogen can be applied in maritime, long-distance transportation, and other fields. On a trip to Taiwan, the CEO of the company says they are expecting to test 20 electrolyzer in Tainan. Um, I think Taiwan is a country where energy independence is extremely important, and here you need um, smaller um, energy systems um, all over in the country, and here hydrogen is a very good alternative for storing energy um, for a longer time. So batteries and hydrogen are always go hand in hand, but if it comes to longer time storing energy, it's always hydrogen is the, the, the better future. The company currently has several official partners in Taiwan. It hopes to push for green hydrogen adoption in Taiwan and across the globe. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Hong Gokai in Taipei.